Hola! Hi everybody, it's Thursday, March 26th through... <laughs> Almost messed that up. Again, 2015. <laughs> uh, let's see, it's about uh, 2.30. I just came in from the rain. It's raining outside, it's pretty gross, and um, so I decided to come in and like cuddle up with my little blanket here. It's one of my favorite presents I've ever been given. Uh, my mom had a lot of my t-shirts, you know, like from, this one's from college, and this one's from the church, and um, this one's from the church, and this one's from the church, and anyways, a lot of my favorite t-shirts, she had them all cut up and made into a blanket for me, and so, whew, it's loud outside. Anyways, I'm cozied up with that, um, about to relax for a little bit. I've been uh, working a lot lately on commercials mostly. Uh, I was in a, working on a Western Union commercial at the beginning of this week. Who knew that they Western Union was still around and that they made commercials. Um, but anyways, that was fun. Got to do some behind the scenes stuff and had to sign a bunch of paperwork, you know, on camera releases and model consent forms and. You know, it was like really lame, but exciting for me. Um, and I also just went, I just got back from an interview for an audience coordinator position, fancy, um, for a comedy show here in the city. So, fingers crossed, that maybe I could do that in addition to what I'm doing already and, you know, have money to eat. Just kidding. I just ate a sandwich. Because those are cheap. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, let's see. What's been going on this week? Last weekend, Ostea's parents were in town. And we had a lot of fun. Went to this uh, really cool, small um, jazz club in Greenwich Village. And if any of you have ever seen Funny Face, it totally reminded me of that whole Audrey Hepburn like with her hair pulled back and the black you know thing with the flats and the you know mm, poetry reading from the 60s I mean it was this really cool small place and um anyways that was a lot of fun I enjoyed it and we I got to visit with the state's parents and kind of catch up about things and then um Sunday we went to um this new French place in um, the West Village called Bouvet. <laughs> um, anyways, that was nice. I had a yummy, yummy, yummy waffle sandwich, which was like two little triangles of waffles with bacon and an egg that was cooked to perfection and a little bit of syrup with a some butter. It was good butter too. Anyways, now my mouth's watering. Um, <laughs> no, I just ate. Uh, anyways, so, and then we walked around the city. Sunday was such a beautiful day. Um, it was like not a cloud in the sky and uh, not too cold. It was just, it was perfect weather. So we just walked around. We ended up at this uh, beer garden um, over in Chelsea. A lot was happening in there. There were some really, uh, well, you don't want to hear about that. But well, there's a lot of good people watching. We'll just say that. Um, and anyways, that was basically the entire day Sunday. Uh, then Monday... I had to be on set at 6.30, which meant I had to wake up at 4 to get to Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. and, and any of you, I mean, y'all know, like, I'm a night person, and so it was really hard for me to, like, make myself go to bed early. And I just kept, like, rolling over and rolling over, and finally it was, like, 1.30 or something, and I was like, okay, maybe I'm about to fall asleep. And then I was paranoid 
that I was going to oversleep. So I set like five alarms <laughs> all over my apartment to make sure that I got up. But I made it on time and uh, actually a lot of people that were working on this commercial worked on the movie that I did um, before Christmas. So that was fun. That was like my first time. Oh, hey, Steve, how's it going? You know, good to see you again. Um, so, and we had some drama on set. Um, so Monday was an eventful day. And then I, uh, I took like some nicer clothes and like makeup to, uh, fancy myself up because I had dinner plans with, uh, some of my extended family, basically like my aunt's husband's sister. She lives here in the city and she takes me out to dinner and shows me a good time. Um, and anyways, uh, her, her daughter, and then my, I guess my cousin, my uncle's daughter, she was in town visiting. And so we all went to this fancy restaurant on the Upper West Side. And again, I had some very yummy food amazing I don't weigh like 500 pounds um I had a, <laughs> a pork chop and when I ordered it the molasses brined pork chop with spaghetti squash and sauteed spinach the waiter was like are you sure it's a double pork chop and I was like I've been lifting stuff all day so you know it was eh, it's fine um so dinner that was a lot of fun uh it was good visiting with all of them and uh, seeing Diane and just being able to do that here in the city. I mean, who would have ever thought that I'd be meeting up with my family and having dinners in New York City? It's just amazing. Um, right now, it's raining outside, uh, which is why my hair is like this, because I wasn't even going to attempt the straightening business. Um and don't worry, I looked nicer for my interview. I changed into my comfy clothes, like, literally as soon as I walked in the door. Uh, what else? So that was Monday. And then Tuesday I had the day off. Yesterday, uh, I was supposed to work an overnight. But I didn't end up having to do that, thank goodness. Because my interview today was uh, this morning, and... It was <laughs> would have been really, really hard to get up if I had been working till 6 a.m., which is what I was supposed to do. So, uh, this weekend's Ostea's birthday, so we're doing something, you know, fabulous and fun on Saturday. Um, I'm also supposed to work this weekend, too. And then, <laughs> jazz hands for exciting news. A week from today, I will be, like, this time, next Thursday, I will be in Pearland, Texas. And I'm so excited about it. Um, I started going through my closet yesterday to figure out uh, what all I need to pack. Um, and I want to make sure that I have room in my suitcase to bring home lots of good goods. Like, you know, toilet paper and ranch-style beans and, you know, things <laughs> like that. Uh, anyways, I'm really excited, and it's Easter coming up. Um, someone asked me the other day, uh, my friend, um, about, like, Easter traditions and uh, what I used to do as a kid. God, and I, and my initial response to him was, uh, you know, we don't really have any Easter traditions in my family, um, but that's not true, because I started thinking about it, and back when I was a little kid, you know, my parents were still married, we were always in Texarkana for Easter, and we used to go to this house and I can't remember the name of the people that lived there I, I mean they were so sweet they were somebody from my grandmother's church I think 
I don't know. I just remember the house was huge and beautiful and there was about a million people there and a million Easter eggs and I remember Gibson was always like so serious about the Easter egg hunting like man on a mission he always ended up with more Easter eggs than I did but anyways I just hadn't thought about that in a really long time and uh it's just kind of funny to think you know about time and um, how things change and growing up and traditions and I don't know what my family's gonna do for Easter this year but uh, it's probably gonna be different it's gonna be our last um, Easter in our house probably well it I mean it is for sure so that will be bittersweet um, brother Shouldn't have brought that up. Um, anyways, I'm going to get to see everybody. And um, I'm excited to go to church and see everybody there. And just never anticipated I was going to miss home so much, you know. Uh, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love <laughs> being here um but i miss i miss y'all a lot so anyways um i'm mostly i'm really excited to hear what's going on with all of you um I mentioned that in my last video and now this i get to tell y'all what i'm doing and what's going on with me but you know, it's not like I get a, you know, response. Um, but, I mean, I get to talk to a lot of you most, you know, throughout the week and stuff. But, uh, you know, it's just, it'll be fun to be with you. Um, oh. You know. So, uh, I guess with that, it's like the rain is starting to come down harder and harder. Um, uh, anyways, with that, I guess I'll head out or go back to, I don't know, I'm thinking I'm going to be kind of lazy this afternoon. Maybe watch some Dr. Quinn. <laughs> and uh, stay wrapped up in my blanket. This, oh, this shirt right here, um, Laura Sockrider made for all of us um, back in Forest Glen. And oh God, this t-shirt right here, this, I wore this forever. This was um, my, okay, I don't know if you can, this way. This is Fish Camp. My big sister in choir made this for me my freshman year of high school. And, um, oh, this, this t-shirt right here, my parents, um, bought me, my mom and James, uh, way back in 2000. And I wore this t-shirt as like a night, you know, bedtime shirt up until it got cut up to be put on this blanket. There were like holes in the armpits. But you know, it's just like one of those perfectly soft shirts that, I don't know. Anyways, let's see, a song for today um, to leave with. Um, the music I've been listening to today was like my move it music. You know, it's like one of my favorite things to do when I'm walking in New York City, like especially to the subway. It's like I have a specific playlist that just really it makes me like, it's like I've got a soundtrack, you know, in my head. Um, you know, like you would in the movies. I know, I'm, I know I'm lame. Um, but okay, so the song though that I will give you to leave with let's mm. 
I don't know. Ah. This this will be a, a good song. Um Well, yeah. This song was on Dr. Quinn um, a couple days ago. Actually, I'm not even sure if like the title might be "Beautiful Dreamer," but I don't, I don't know. Um, it's uh, the do 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 do. What's the name of that song? You might ah. Hmm. Okay, well, if you can figure out the name of that song, that's one you should go <laughs> listen to. Uh, that's, that's what I was humming that all day yesterday. Um, makes me think of my, my Mima. So, anyways, I will see you all in a week. And I hope you have a fabulous Thursday. I hope you are making really good choices. And that you have a great weekend. I love you all so much. Mwah.